snacks. Some people have put together because they recognize the gear set that is along the top. Mm. But uh, yeah, along that nerds. top set of rewards, oh, you're fuck going me. to get a full striker gear set and oh. a full system crew. <laughs> Welcome all to IGYC's Games, the gamer channel that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. Bo here in the air. Before I kick things off, I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons that need to click. And with that said, check out the social meds where I post daily and keep in touch with the followers. Now let go. Alright, before we hop in on the return of the striker and a new um, introduction to a new gear set called System Corruption. I'd like to apologize. Unfortunately, I was streaming and I had the fucking lay. What are they? Layovers? I had layovers over the goddamn striker set. And so you're just going to have to go with me. I will tell you what those stats are. So let's cover the build you came here for. And that is, of course, Return of Striker Remastered, as they say. And. TD2, we don't have to collect the six piece to get the full benefit of a gear set. In TD2, it's a four piece. And with gear 2.0, we're going to have talents only on chest pieces and backpacks. And I'll explain why I brought that up. So as you can see, you have the two piece gives you 15% weapon handling. That would be good for reloading and whatnot. And then you have three piece gives you, now this is a good one, 15% increase with the rate of fire. And then the fourth, the fourth one is your typical striker. And it's going to stack up where you get consecutive shots. And it stacks all the way up to 50. And every missed shot you lose three stacks. Now, unfortunately, my stupid mug and the fucking camera is blocking the chess piece talent. Now the chess piece talent, when I said that it stacks up to 50, the chess piece increases from 50 to 100. So you get a double in value when you wear the chess piece. Now the backpack you can somewhat see and somewhat read what the talent is, something risk management, and that decreases the stacks lost when you miss a shot from three to two. Uh, it definitely sounds worthy of the chess piece. Unless you have shit shot, mm, the backpack may not be that worth it. But definitely the chess piece. And man, I just can't wait to play with this damn build. And that's only a four piece. Imagine you could throw an exotic on and some named item and just had these crazy ass rolls. But that's the return of Striker slash remastered. Now this other build here on the right, this gear set is System Corruption and this is an exclusive DZ looting, but it's called System Corruption. And it kind of reminds me somewhat of a Nomad with a twist as well. And you can see the two piece. It's 15% armor on kill, which helps you when you have NPCs around. And the three piece is 50 per, uh, 40, excuse me, 40% 40 increase in disruption resistance and 40% increase in pulse resistance. Now you got your specialization already giving you, what, 50%? So we're in the system corruption that's putting you at 90% already with the uh, pulse resistance. I see why. So D three piece, if you want to be gone from pulse, is not a bad option. Now as for the hack step protocol, the hack step protocol is the four piece talent. And this is replacing armor kits. So your armor kits are gone with an instant infinite use ability on a 20 second count cooldown that grants 50% bonus armor and hide your name play for five seconds. So you're gonna be wanting to pop this talent. You can almost call it a special, but you wanna be popping this right before going into battle. 
I'm sorry, I got caught up reading and it lost me for a second. Now let's cover the chess piece talent. Compiler optimi uh, optimization, my bad. Uh, decreases hack step protocol cooldown from 20 seconds to 15. Okay. I mean, five seconds is crucial in PvP and the dark zone and all that. But we'll see. I don't know if that's going to be a, a meta for having that chess piece. As for backpack, we have the multi-threaded execution. I'm sorry, I'm reading this off my phone because I couldn't even read it off the monitor. Multi-threaded execution uh, increases the hack step protocol bonus armor from 50 to 100. Now, the backpack sounds pretty damn crucial for the execution gear set. So that leaves us with two confirmed new gear sets, a fan favorite striker, and I can guarantee you I'm going to be looting that bitch. Of course it's a gear set and I finally have a, a reason <laughs> to target loot gear sets in the game. I had never done that in TD2, but I'm glad to see they made the return for the striker. And as for this dark zone build, excuse me. I'm a fucks with it. I'm gonna try it out and make a decent build with it. But I imagine that's not gonna be a meta build. I don't know, that bonus armor, that's. Oh, it kinda sounds like unbreakable in a way. See, I've already downloaded, or not even downloaded, I pre ordered this expansion right before that state of the game that came out on February 26th. But damn, but damn, if I didn't. As soon as I was off that state of the game, I would have been getting it. I'd imagine just the bringing up of the return of Striker, that's at least getting 5% of the agents back for this expansion, back to TD2, and back to the grind. And as we close out, hope you got what you came for. Share with your mates. Click those buttons that need the clicking. Want to catch us in action? Check out the squad as we stream. Schedule down below in the description. Swing on by and say hello. And as always, I say, peace.